welcome to a Taku Talk, where I talk about anime, games, and other things. For today's for today's talk, I'm gonna talk about the PS Vita. The PS Vita is a funny, is an interesting system and kind of funny though, as it's been loved by so many people, but to some though they don't like it though, and they think it's a total failure. Heck, even Sony doesn't even make a lot of games for the Vita sometimes. It mostly get more games from the from the anime games and, and indie game creators, which is kind of sad though because the future is actually the most great system to have though, and I really love it too. Most of them claim because it's t well, most of them are touchscreen, but more games I play doesn't really rely on touchscreen now. That's really been taken up, but still there to be used for some other things. So, in my own opinion, I kind of think of why do they keep saying PSP is bad and it is not. It's actually a good system. One of the best purple system I ever played in my entire purple game life. I grew up on the purple games. Heck, when I had the PSP, I played that more than my Game Boy and DS games for a long while. And I also think that the PS Vita is a great successor to the PSP. Not the PS Go, that it didn't work, and it's not good. But the Vita is very great. It's really sad that the Vita is being overlooked by so many people, where it's a very great portable console device. It has so many games on there from the store to old games. Right? I think I'm saying that right. And they have some of those interesting exclusive games that you really won't find anywhere else. The thing that off the we have it has Persona 4 Golden, the first thing we're going to first is game, Drive Girls, Fate XXC, even though that's been shown on PS4, and that's the word next. Which got which the game that got me into Dynasty Warriors. All of these old and other games though, are what drive me to the PSP and made me want to like it even more. I'm kind of really sad that Sony's not thinking about playing more games Vita, saying that oh the phones, all the cell phones have more have games on it now because all right, we're talking about about a PS4 game in more games. Well, I don't. 100% agree on that. I think the Vita can actually have more games on it though, and actually could rival your other game companies, Nintendo and Microsoft, mostly Nintendo. And actually, no, mostly five or well, four games that would go over to PS Vita and are, and they're kind of all Persona games. Just remake Persona 1 and 2 and 3. And the Persona 5 on a Vita. Or one or two just just update the graphics and stuff, fix the bugs or stuff on it and put on the Vita. And for three, use Persona FES. It it could work. After all, it's used on the PlayStation like the PlayStation 2 curlers, but different. And it got to work on it. And for five, though, I actually have a, an idea for it to go on here. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, but that. And for ideas on how to put the five on a Vita, here's how. So for the stars, though, um, my, when I play Persona 5, I actually know that I don't need my RNL 2 by much, unless in bad words. Kind of easy, which is used for. I can't remember. Um, I think for making it easier to use weak skills and stuff of enemies, you can actually just put on the select button though. Like select and just give you the enemy weaknesses and stuff, or how to hold those other features on it. And just choose a feature on there. You might say, no, oh, the ones to put on the feeder then, if it's just be like that, well, one, it just making it easier for it, for it, and two, having a 
for Sonic 5 on the field would be great. Because I will love to play this anywhere I go. And it'll be awesome. And actually, it's, if they do Persona 5, um, whatever they call it, maybe Persona 5 Defend them Harder or something, which they will because every Persona game, I mean, Persona game 3 and 4 have the Arena Arcana, which 5 will have them when they may ever make the second game to them. Which will be perfect for the FIBA. Yes, the person, yes, it previous work is share it too. I'm um, and stuff, but I would think it'd be great for the FIFA to have Persona 5 and the other Persona game. Also, you, you know, you guys have been thinking about well, Persona 3 Portable. Does that in the game? Does that for Persona 3 FES? This make it make it possible to play as hard as you want to. That way, you'll have a full set of her walking around. Like in Persona 3 FES. And. Hmm. That's all I can think about. The game is a, a, be perfect for you. Oh, yeah, also. Another game I think would be perfect for PS Vita will be a very exclusive. That would be. That would be a Gundam game. Well, no, I think I don't know that's a good word. No, I remember. Add, add, add Persona Arena in here, too. That way, they, if you want to play Persona, Persona 5 game, it's possible. And that's all I have right now for the PS Vita. And now, for my other sad news, it's a sad one. Um... Killer Bytes, the video game, has been cancelled today. The, the developers just t told everyone that Killer Bytes is cancelled, which is kind of sad. For those who don't know, that game has been in development since 2015, and no one didn't know what to do about... Well, no one didn't know when it was going to be released because it took, like, I think, the last, no one have heard of since, I think, 15. And I just hear of it now that the game has been canceled, which is sad, though. For it to have it because it looks like an interesting fighting game, but it's now, the, it's now it's canceled. It's with the video game that never came to be, like, the new Silent Hill game. It's kind of, and I'm really upset about that because I was looking forward to thinking about this could be what the PS Vita need. Its own, its own epic fighting game, but it never came to be. And for my last piece of news I have, so Dinosaur's characters were, sh were shown on a website by a, a picture article. And it's, hold on a moment, it's Chung Sing, another way character who will be add on, that's a new character, and he'll be using, I think, the twin swords, like, I think, Shen Yun, I think. And Shen Yun has been shown as well with his new outfit, though. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Science the Eight Empire's weapon, the spears things, and instead he'll have the daggers. Which kind of I'm kind of sad about that because I really like his moves at that. I don't know, and it kind of bugs me that I'm not gonna be there in be there in nine, but I might come back in ten. Also, we have Jun Ron using the staff as well, which is also upsetting. And we have Jung Wei who's keeping his eyes for eight weapon, and we have Ying Ping who will be using the Pike, like Yi Mong. And Jugga Dong will have the Feather from like a Dinosaur 7. And then we and Jean will use Sun Tzu in the new way character, <laughs> new shoot character's weapon as well. And that's all I have for today's Otaku Talking News. 
I'm Jaden. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and let's try to get this video up to 10 subscribe to me to two views to help out help out this channel. I appreciate it if we can do that. And have a nice day. See ya.